This is America's AGM-114 Hellfire missile. Deployed from the skies by helicopters, the Hellfire missile has earned a reputation as a fearsome weapon, striking with pinpoint accuracy to neutralize enemy threats on the ground. Moreover, it can also be employed to destroy airborne targets. The AGM-114 Hellfire has been a critical asset in the United States military's arsenal for over three decades, playing a pivotal role in numerous military operations around the world. It was originally developed under the name Helleborn Laser Fire and Forget Missile, which led to the colloquial name Hellfire, ultimately becoming the missile's formal name. In service since the 1970s, Hellfire missiles originated as a 100-pound tank-killing, armor-piercing weapon designed to destroy enemy armored vehicles, bunkers, and other fortifications. In addition to its versatility, the AGM-114 missile is also known for its reliability. It has a proven track record of success in combat with a high success rate in hitting its intended targets. This has made it a trusted weapon among military forces around the world. However, despite its many advantages, the Hellfire is not without its drawbacks. One of the main criticisms of the weapon is its cost. Each missile can cost anywhere from $70,000 to $150,000, depending on the configuration. This makes it one of the more expensive weapons in the military's arsenal. The AGM-114 has a weight range of 99.8 to 107 pounds, a diameter of 7 inches, and a length range of 64 to 69 inches, which includes a 20-pound warhead. Its range varies from 7.1 to 11 kilometers, depending on the trajectory used. The Hellfire missile is equipped with a single-stage, solid-propellant Thiokol TX-657 rocket motor, which is capable of generating 10 Gs of initial thrust. With a maximum velocity of 950 miles per hour, the Hellfire is a formidable weapon system that combines speed, accuracy, and power, making it a highly effective weapon for various military operations. Once launched, the missile's rocket motor propels it towards the target. As it approaches the target, the guidance system tracks and guides the missile to its intended destination. Upon impact, the warhead detonates, delivering its payload, which can result in significant damage to the target. The AGM-114 family of missiles includes the Hellfire II and Longbow missiles. The Hellfire II is a precision strike missile that employs semi-active laser guidance. This guidance system relies on laser energy that's reflected off the target for navigation. The Hellfire II family of missiles consists of four variations, each designed for specific purposes. These include the high-explosive anti-tank missile, AGM-114K, that can defeat all known and projected armored threats. The Blast Fragmentation Missile, AGM-114M, that can destroy soft targets, and the Thermobaric Hellfire, AGM-114N, for urban structures, bunkers, radar sites, communication installations, and bridges. In 2010, the U.S. Army began producing the AGM-114R, also called Hellfire Romeo, which can be used against soft, hard, and enclosed targets. The Romeo variant included the capabilities of all previous AGM-114 missile variants and could engage targets that previously needed multiple Hellfire variants. It can be launched from higher altitudes than previous variants, and with its new multi-purpose warhead, a single fire can destroy a target. The Longbow Hellfire, AGM-114L, is also a precision strike missile that uses millimeter wave radar guidance instead of the semi-active laser guidance used by the Hellfire II. The Millimeter Wave Seeker of the Longbow provides beyond line-of-sight fire and forget capability, along with the ability to operate in adverse weather conditions and battlefield obscurance. The AGM-114 missile was initially designed to be used with helicopters. However, as time passed, the missile has undergone modifications and can now be launched from a range of platforms, including air, sea, and ground-based platforms. In the air, the missile can be launched from different types of helicopters such as the AH-64 Apache, AH-1Z Viper, MH-6 Little Bird, MH-60 Seahawk, and Eurocopter Tiger Attack Helicopter. The missile can also be used on unmanned aerial vehicles including the MQ-1 Predator, 
and MQ-9 Reaper, as well as fixed-wing aircraft like the KC-130J and AC-130 gunship. When it comes to sea-based deployment, the missiles can be launched from vessels such as the Freedom Class and Independence Class littoral combat ships, while on the ground it can be used on platforms like the Striker and IM Shorad variant. In experimental testing, the Hellfire missile system has been tested on the Humvee, and in 2016, the Longbow was tested by the U.S. Army using a 15-tube multi-mission launcher mounted on a family of medium tactical vehicles truck. Hellfire R-9X Ninja Missile Years after their development, Hellfire missiles have become the armament of choice in the War on Terror and are often used on Reaper and Predator drones in strikes against militants in crowded urban environments. The relatively small 20-pound warhead is crucial in these environments where unnecessary civilian casualties or infrastructure damage could be detrimental to long-term mission success. Still, an explosion, regardless of size, runs the risk of civilian casualties, so how can a missile be improved for greater precision and pose less risk to civilian bystanders? The R-9X was developed precisely to address this concern. Outwardly, the R-9X Hellfire variant looks quite similar to other Hellfire variants, but paradoxically, it's not equipped with an explosive warhead. Instead, in the missile body where explosives would normally be located, there are six razor-sharp blades. The R-9X missile relies on kinetic energy instead and has been described as an anvil falling from the sky, a 100-pound anvil traveling nearly 1,000 miles an hour. These six blades pop out of the body of the missile moments before impact, creating a disk of destruction capable of chopping up people to bits and slashing through cars and other unarmored targets. It's highly accurate as well. The R-9X reportedly has a left-seat, right-seat capability wherein a car passenger could be killed and the driver as well as other passengers would be unharmed. Replacing the Legendary Hellfire Missile After nearly four decades of service, the Legendary Hellfire is getting a replacement in Lockheed Martin's AGM-179 Joint Air-to-Ground Missile, JAGM. The JAGM is a multi-sensor air-to-ground missile that is backward compatible with the M299 launcher and with appropriate integration upgrades can be used on all platforms, air, ground, and maritime that currently employ Hellfire or Longbow missiles. On August 30th, 2022, the U.S. Army approved the JAGM for full-rate production. Although the JAGM may look similar to its predecessors, it builds upon the Hellfire's legacy of low cost and high accuracy by combining multiple targeting systems into a single weapon. This results in one missile that can perform the job of both Hellfire missiles. The successful completion of operational testing of the JAGM on the U.S. Army's AH-64E Apache and the Marine Corps' AH-1Z Viper helicopters is a significant milestone. The new missile traveled 16 kilometers in a flight test on November 16th at Naval Air Weapons Station, China Lake, California. JAGM has repeatedly proven that it can be counted on when it matters most, providing mission-focused offensive and defensive capabilities and maintaining a competitive edge against any potential adversaries, says Jerry Brody, Vice President of Close Combat Systems at Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control. The program's full-rate production milestone speaks volumes to how JAGM's precision and combat effectiveness continue to provide 21st-century solutions in an ever-evolving threat environment. By the way, the MQ-9 Reaper is a UAV aircraft commonly associated with the use of the Hellfire missile. The AGM-114 has always been one of its primary armaments. Equipped with a payload capacity of 3,750 pounds, the drone can carry a combination of four AGM-114 missiles, GBU-12 Paveway-2, GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munitions, GBU-49 Enhanced Paveway 2 and GBU-54 Laser Joint Direct Attack Munitions, as well as various pods and fuel tanks. However, in September 2020, a new software update for the drone, facilitated under an Air Force initiative called Operational Flight Program 2409, enabled the MQ-9's pylons, primarily used for bombs, to be armed with an additional four AGM-114s. The software update increased the total number of Hellfire missiles that the MQ-9 can carry to eight, further enhancing its combat capabilities. The evolution and improvement of drone technology continue to be fascinating to witness.